Howdy, this is Lemmy with Revzilla TV, here to talk to you today about the LaPera Maverick Seat for Harley. Alrighty, you should be considering a seat for the same three reasons everybody considers a seat. You want your bike to look better, you want your ass to feel better, or you need to change your position on the motorcycle. LaPera does make this saddle for just about every single family with the exception of the V-Rod. You should be able to find something. Use our bike finder, select your bike, and you're gonna see a multitude of options come up. Installation is easy. Here at RevZilla, we use the one to three beard level scale, and the internal joke is that seats don't even ring in at a full beard. This is like a five o'clock shadow on the three beard scale. Okie doke, breakdown time. Let's start with the outside of this. You can see the profile of this saddle. Deeply sculpted in the driver area, wide up here at the passenger area. So this is gonna ring in sort of as like a medium length touring saddle. It's gonna be good for more miles than a stock seat for sure. Um, however, it's not quite the top end touring Luxo couch super behemoth saddle. You're gonna be able to put good miles in on this due to this deeply cut sculpted area up front here. And for those of you guys too, who may be a little taller and need to move back on the bike, this seat does come in a daddy long legs version for a few families. Looking also at the cover, you can see this is marine grade vinyl. Marine grade vinyl is great stuff. It looks nice, it wears well, and it also deals well with the rigors, the wear and tear of daily riding. The final thing you'll notice on the outside of this is the stitching. It's got this beautiful stitching on here, and the only reason it exists is to make the seat look nice, and I think it works. So let's get right inside. Flipping this over, the first thing you'll notice is this carpeted area. LaPera carpets their pants for those of you guys who might also run a solo saddle in addition to a two-up. What this does is protects your paint on the part of the fender that is normally seen when you're on your solo saddle. So that's kind of a nice touch. You're not going to see it on every seat. The pan itself, steel. This thing is 14 gauge. It's super thick. It's beefy. It does not give up. Those of you who know about pans know that a stiff pan, a nice unyielding pan, is the secret to a nice feeling saddle. It sounds kind of strange. It sounds counterintuitive. However, when you have a pan that is unyielding, you wind up with a more comfortable ride. The pan is also powder coated, as you can see, black. It looks great. It's going to continue looking great for years to come. The final thing you might want to notice, too, is the method of attachment for the seat cover. You can see rivets here. Riveting is a super, super secure way of keeping a saddle, a cover in place. It also is a good way to prevent rust because they use aluminum rivets. So putting this puppy back, let's talk about install. Installation, like all the seats, is cake. You've got, on most Harleys, a tongue at the front that's going to slip into your frame, and at the rear you have one point of connection. Depending on your year, make, and model, and whether or not someone's been in there before, you're going to have one bolt, should just be a quarter 20 screw. You might be looking at a flathead, you might be looking at a Phillips head, you might be looking at a Torx. Regardless, one tool should get the job done for you. You should not be in the garage for a long time. No one should be afraid of attacking a seat. Don't take my word for it, though. Click below, see what some other riders said about install, and more importantly, what they've said about the ride after they put one of these on. If you have questions beyond that, get a hold of us. See us at RevZilla.com, we'll get you a gear geek. You can always give us a jingle on the telling bone, too. 877-792-9455. I'm Lemmy, I'm out of here.